good morning. I'm sitting outside right now because I just need a little break. I have been in my bed all morning full of anxiety and sick. Not like sick, but sick with anxiety, I guess. <laughs> I am struggling this morning. You know that infertility is kind of like grief, like that pain and that pain comes in like waves. It could be years, it could be months, weeks, days. That grief will always come back in waves. <laughs> that pain. <clears throat> I have been invited to a baby shower today. And I thought that I could just muster up the courage, just muster up the strength. go and support my friend and her baby but I just can't the pain is just too raw too real too hard and I know I know it makes me a horrible person and a horrible friend And I know that it's selfish to not go, and I know it's not about me today, and I know it's about her and the baby. I know all that, okay? I know. Oh. But it sucks so bad. God, it sucks so bad. I feel like an ass for not going. And I know that I could do hard things. But this, this is one of those circumstances where do I put my mental health in jeopardy? Because it's already in jeopardy. It's already messed up today. I'm just trying to work through my feelings today and my rawness. And like, I know that it's okay to change plans. And it's okay to say, I just feel so horrible. Infertility is so hard, 
this is a really hard road and journey to have to take. It's moments like this when you love somebody and you want to support them and you want to be there, but you can't. You mentally can't be there. And if you did go, it would be miserable and you would probably make the day miserable for them. You don't want to do that. sucks a lot. So I'm on, on my way to work, but I wanted to like talk about what happened over the weekend. I had a really <laughs> hard weekend, I guess. It was good, but it was eye-opening. Um, and yes, I did share some raw, real, vulnerable moments, moments of my weekend. And that's because in this society that we live in, all the positives, all the good things are celebrated and highlighted and like, woohoo, good things, yay. But the negative, the heartbreaking, the shadow side, the ugly, the not so pretty moments of life are hardly, rarely shared. And I want to make sure that my page here on YouTube is a place of honesty and realness and rawness and a place where I can share the the ugly sides of my life as well as my fun cool bright sides and that's because this is not I'm not perfect this isn't a perfect life and nobody's perfect so I wanted to highlight so I don't know where I left off at uh, in my little car rant, but um, I just wanted to say that my channel, I want it to be real, authentic, highlights the highs and the lows, and that's why I shared that moment. Um, <clears throat> that weekend that I was feeling all that stuff. <clears throat> really has shown me that I do have a lot more healing and growing to do in my uh, human journey here and I'll be taking the last ha or the second part of 2023 um, to really focus on myself and healing and growing and the things that I want and need in my life so that's all I wanted to say about that. Okay, goodbye.